We're here with Chad Caden from Orie County. Chad, one of the conservative personalities that drives the debate down in Orie County, which is a strong America first part of the state of South Carolina. Chad, we heard the chairman of the Republican Party just address this crowd. He talked about, are you glad to be Republicans? Are you glad to be conservatives? But then he said, are you glad to be Trump supporters? And that got a response from the crowd. Tell me about the disconnect between the MAGA movement and the Republican Party here in South Carolina. Well, the sad thing is there's a disconnect. How do we have a Republican Party and you're not MAGA? How do we have Drew McKissick setting up uh, shadow groups in order to push around other counties that, that change their leadership? It's very simple, and, and I don't understand why there has to be a proverbial line in the sand, but Drew's drawn it. And the thing is, Drew called us MAGA lepers. Drew actually went out, instead of having a debate with somebody he was running against, he decided to have a sit-down and a beer in Columbia with the uh, chairman of the Democratic Party and said Biden won. We believe that there's a problem with our, with our machines. We just had a canvas done in Horry County, and out of 2,500 votes, 95% of them were aired or wrong. 700 dead people. When are we going to wake up? And these leaders aren't helping, and they're lying to Donald Trump. Let's talk about the president and who he listens to in South Carolina. Obviously, there are two incumbents who were very much against him in, in the aftermath of the January 6 riots. What do you think about the two candidates running against Nancy Mace and Tom Rice? Um, Russell Fry is Tom Rice's illegitimate political son. He is no different. He is the exact same guy. Tom Rice was his mentor. If you are the chief majority whip and you can't get constitutional carry in what's supposed to be one of the most reddest states in the country, you're a rhino. His voting record is just that. I'll give Tom Rice credit. At least he has a good voting record yeah. as far as following conservative values. But at the same time, I don't, I, I'm upset that Tom voted the way he did in that impeachment. But what I'm most upset is you said that you voted that way because you were scared. Yeah. I don't need a congressman without a spine because you're an attorney. You don't know the difference between a, 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 a misdemeanor or high crime. But you voted your conscience because you were scared? Bye, Tom. Who would you support in the 7th District if Fry and Rice aren't up for the job? Is there a candidate out there? There's a couple candidates that aren't candidates yet. Yeah? And I'm going to tell you this much. Bringing the Trump power, but it's not working. Really? Russell Fry is not getting an overwhelming amount of support in Horry County, and we're going to work really hard to make sure that stays that way. We have worked too hard for five years in trying to bring MAGA first and actual representation for people to, be, to watch it just go away with another good old boy, next guy up thing. Russell Fry is, no, is nothing more than a, a, a rhino that has been brought up through the Bush League of Politics in Horry County that is the blood sport. Do you think we're going to see some surprises during the filing period for that seventh Congressional oh, 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 oh. District race? Let's understand this. I pray. I pray. Possibly you? One day of the year, but with our <laughs> Will, citizens, I'll tell you this much. I've said that one I'll be damned if I'm going to let it go and I'm going to do the Richard Pryor. Remember that movie where Richard Pryor yep. said, vote for nobody? None of the maybe, above. Maybe that's what I do. I'm not taking no campaign <laughs> contributions or anything. I'm just going to, none of the above. But you know, there's there's I good people that I still need to vet. Um, I've, I've, a couple people have, have, have shown me that they've got a spine. Um, and I know there's a couple people out there that I've talked to over the last year that just are, you know, it's hard to get past a Trump endorsement. Yeah. But I think that if any place is ready to to re move past a Trump endorsement, it's Horry County. And the reason because is not because we, we don't like Trump. We, we voted overwhelmingly for Donald Trump. Yeah. But it is the independent republic for a reason. We're the boots on the ground, and we're trying to get to the most insulated man in the world is impossible. And I was at Mar-a-Lago the night of the, the I was at Mar-a-Lago the night of that endorsement. And when when Governor McMaster saw me, I watched the soul leave his body. He didn't understand why I was there. And the thing is, I want him to see us there. But to get, I mean, even being at Mar-a-Lago, I didn't have the, uh, the, the opportunity to sit down with Mr. Trump, which of course is impossible in a lot of ways. But I did talk to an advisor and I asked him what he thinks we should do and he said be loud Donald listens to the people so hopefully they're nice and loud I know they were earlier um, 
Mr. Fry but that's the only way we can do it. These people that are that are that are heckling some of these people and telling them they're trying to wake people up. Yeah. They're not. They're not anti-Trump. They're all for Trump. But they're doing what patriots do. They're going out and speaking their mind and saying, "Please, Donald Trump." Listen to us. Trust me, you give me three minutes with Donald Trump, I could give him plenty to, for him to think twice about Russell Fry. And it's about advisors. You've been in the game. You know how it is. It access, access, access. And who are we? And not just Fry, McMaster, and a whole bunch Absolutely. of other. Absolutely. McMaster, um, you know, I, I, I understand the psychology behind that because uh, McMaster is one of the first people to actually support Trump. Trump. Donald Trump is very, very loyal person. I appreciate that. But we're, we can't be doing things based off loyalty and, and having Lindsey Graham, uh, McMaster, and Drew McKissick are the three people that we know were pushing really hard for our Russell Fry. That's not getting our view. That's listening to the rhinos. That's the insanity, doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different outcome. And the people of Horry County are sick of it. And we want real representation. We've had Tom Rice. He's been terrible forever. He finally did something that just ruined it. And the thing with that is, is that he, he never will talk to his constituents. He doesn't show up. He doesn't he doesn't do events, he doesn't answer emails, he doesn't answer phone calls. He might vote okay as a, as a conservative, but there's more to that, and you know it. Yeah. And, and the thing is, is people want representation where they can make that phone call or that email, and they get somebody to talk to them back and say, I hear you, I'm taking under advisement, and I want to get it done. That doesn't happen in South Carolina. I'm tired of talking about how red we are. Yeah. It's a joke. Same thing in Florida, same thing in Georgia, same thing in North Carolina. I don't want to have to fix it. I want to fix it now. And we have to. And I mean that passionately. You know how passionate I am. And, and, and I'm, not, I'm not getting paid by nobody. I'm just out there doing Patriot stuff. This is what I believe we need to do. The country's going bad. And the last thing we need to do is send weak need, raised in politics, like Russell Fry, who's never had a real job other than his law firm. But he's been in this game in politics since he came out. We can't. We need somebody that's going to stand up. Somebody's going to sit next to AOC and tell her to sit down and be quiet. Chad Caden from the Independent Republic of Horry County letting us know that there are going to be some potential Brewster's Millions action in the 7th Congressional District. Chad, thanks for taking the time. Will you be my Oh yeah, man, for, for none of the above. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Hey, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir.